fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plane who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors. And for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Run, Silver! Run the trail of the black girl! Run, Silver! Away! The Lone Ranger and Tonto had made camp in a secluded spot away from the usual trails. The Lone Ranger rode into camp expecting to find Tonto. But when he got there, the camp was empty. Tonto and Scout were gone. The ashes of the campfire were scattered, and there was evidence of a struggle. With Silver beside him, the masked man's keen eyes searched the ground for tracks. He's gone, Silver. There's no sign of him. All five shells fired from his gun. The embers are still glowing from the campfire. Whatever happened, it couldn't have been more than a few hours ago. Or... Silver, look at this. Hoof prints heading west. Steady, old boy. Hip! After them, Silver, Tonto may be hurt or worse. Hello, Silver! When the masked man started out on the trail, Tonto and his captors were many miles ahead, approaching a spot where the trail turned left, passing the entrance to a blind ravine. At the entrance, the leader threw up one hand. Oh! What are you stopping for, Torlock? That masked man won't let the dust settle under his horse's hoofs when he starts after us. I reckon he already has. Ah, uh, silver plenty past. Him catch you plenty quick. Shut up, Injun. You men stay with the Indian. Make sure he doesn't make a run for it. He's tied to the saddle and his horse is tied to mine. He won't by most. He'd better not. Decker, come over to one side here. Yeah. What's your plan, Tulek? I want to destroy the Buffalo Valley wagon train. Buffalo Valley wagon train? There's no wagon train heading for Buffalo Valley. That's closed territory. The government opened it, Dicker. I got information that the first wagon train is leaving Culver City tomorrow. Information from where? You know better than to ask that. Oh, I savvy. The Black Arrow. The less said about that, the better, Becker. You and I are the only ones in this group who belong to the Black Arrow. The others must learn nothing. Kino, they're outlaws. They're being paid. They won't ask questions. Yeah, good. But this here wagon train... You want to stop it to keep Buffalo Valley from being settled, huh? The harder we make it for all of them to move into new land in the West, the better for us. Uh-huh. Now, you'll stay here and keep one man with you. The rest will follow me for the wagon train. What's my job? I want to trap the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Easier said than done. This ravine is closed at the other end, Decker. Make use of it. 
After I'm gone with the others, you lead the Indian into that ravine. Yeah. And tie him well back from the entrance. Leave a plain trail so the masked man can see him when he gets to this point. So far, I got it. When the masked man goes in to free the Indian... Be in the jet with me, start slinging bullets, eh? No. No? No shooting. I want to delay the masked man so he can't help that wagon train. Besides that, I want to capture him alive. If you can. That'll be up to you. I think you can figure out how to do it. Well, the ravine's got pretty steep walls. This entrance is narrow. Yeah, do it in your own time. The rest of us can't wait. All right, men. Hey, Slack, you stick here with me. We're looking after this engine. Whatever you say, Decker. The rest of you come with me. That wagon train's a long way from here. We'll have to step along. We take the trail toward Culver City. Uh, too long. Well? You still ain't told me how we're going to corral the mask, man, in this here blind ravine. If he gets in, make sure he doesn't get out. Huh? This pass is narrow, Decker. You've got blasting powder. Use it. Adios. Come on, you men. What was he saying, Decker? I didn't savvy. I don't know, Slick. Blasting putty and no pass. Why, Gravy, sure that's it. Come on, bring that engine along. By the time the masked man comes this way, everything will be all set for him. Get up. Get up. The tracks are still clear. We're on their tail, Silver. Otto can't be hurt. He's made his count travel in the soft ground as much as possible. He knew we'd recognize his hoof prints. We'll find them, old fella. Sticking to the Culver City Trail. Turns left here past this ravine. We... Silver! The horses split up. Most of them kept on the trail. These three turn into the ravine. Scott is one of them. Come on, Silver! That means Tonto must be... Silver! There he is at the far end of the ravine. Tonto! Tie! Tied and gagged. This may be a trap, but we can't stop. Come on, Silver, into the ravine. As the masked man raced the stallion into the narrow ravine toward Tonto and Scout, the two bad men lay flat on the rim of the rock above the entrance and watched him pass. <laughs> it's working out just like Tulak figured. Get ready with that blessing, putty slag. All set, Decker. I'll let you know when. He's passed us already. Let him ride a good ways. Let him be clear up to the redskin before we set it off. He's sure riding for a big surprise, ain't he? <laughs> Unaware of danger, the masked man rode straight to help Tonto. Galloping straight across the floor of the ravine, he pulled up beside Tonto. Kimosabe, you're not hurt. Wait, I'll get that gag off so you can talk. <coughs> and these ropes. Kimosabe, this trap, you ride. Ride quick and get out. Not without you, Tonto. No, you hurry. Only one way out of the ravine. You not bother. Ropes take too long to get cut. Scout all tied up. There's one rope. Now this one. There, Scout is free now. Come on, we... Oh, it's too late. Yes, Tonto. The entrance is piled high with rock. It's impossible to climb over it. Ah, uh, no way out of ravine now. All day long, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode around the floor of the ravine looking for a possible way out, but they could see none. And by sunset, the two outlaws, watching from the rim rock, were satisfied they would have no trouble keeping them prisoners. <laughs> you gave up looking for a way out, Slag. Reckon they know by now there ain't no way out. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a hand with this saddle. What? Come on, I gotta saddle my horse and get moving. Yeah. You're leaving? Yeah, why not? Stand still, you ornery nag. But, Decker, I don't savvy. You won't have no trouble. Give me that bridle. You're leaving me alone? Why not? Them two hombres can't make any trouble. They're safe as though they were locked in the calaboose. You just keep an eye on them. Where are you heading? You've been eating local weed? Where do you think I'm heading? <clears throat> the Culver City slag to tell Torlock we got the Lone Ranger right where we want him. Get up there. Wagon train. Six wagons. When they get out on the trail, we'll tag along after them, taking care they don't see us. Do... What the? Who's that? Howdy, Jess. Decker, what are you doing here? I figured you'd be out this way as soon as I heard the wagon train was camped this side of town. 
I met another wagon outfit hidden this way and got my directions. Why'd you leave the ravine? Because it wasn't needed. You don't need slack there either, for that matter. The mask man? Give me the engine bull. That blast shifted the rock right down and sealed the entrance off. They're pinned in, mister. Well, that's <laughs> fine. Fine and dandy. I reckon you'd want to hear about it. You sure there's no chance of anything going wrong? You can brand me for a maverick if anything could. Kino Decker, good work. I thought you might need an extra hand here. That uh, wagon train won't be so easy to stop. You know my plan. Sure, but I... But nothing. It'll work. They'll make camp at Blue Run, right out, right beside the spring. It'll be as easy as pulling a cinch. I reckon so. And now that you're here, I'm going to leave things in your hands, Decker. You'll take charge, and I'll go back hey. to... Hey, what's that? That wagon I was telling you about. The one that's joining the wagon train. Oh, yeah. Passing right by us. No need for any of them in to act unnatural. We ain't known to be outlaws. Yeah, that's so. Just act friendly, gents. Right. Howdy, Jeff. Howdy, ma'am. Is that the wagon train yonder? The one that's heading for Buffalo Valley? You're joining it? My, my husband and I have been hankering for a long time to get out that way, haven't we, Bill? We sure have, Abby. Of course, we've never been to Buffalo Valley, but that don't signify... Well, any of you gents ever been there? Yeah. Yeah, some of us have. You going along? No, we're not. How's the country out that way? I hear it's right good rangeland. Well, it's a matter of opinion. What's wrong with it, mister? You don't sound overly enthusiastic. There's no land for settlers. What? Why, we heard just the opposite. Full of bear and mountain lions. Cold in the winter and hotter than a stove lid in the summer. You won't like it. Well, we... We sort of had our hearts set on it. It'll break your hearts. You want my advice? Turn back. Turn back? That's what I'd say. Why? Well, I, I don't know what to say. Why, it oh, doesn't seem... Oh, rain up there, Abby. Mister, I don't know what your reason is, but it looks to me like you're doing this deliberate. You've got some sort of stake in keeping people out of Buffalo Valley? Why should I have? I don't know, but you certainly sure act that way. Let me tell you this. Our minds are made up, and I reckon the same goes for all them folks in the wagons yonder. So you can save your calamity howler for folks that are scared of their own shadows. We ain't. Adios, mister. Get up there. Get up Looks like he didn't swallow it to a leg. Never mind. You wish he'd listened after what happens at Blue Run. If he's alive. Yeah, if he's alive. Uh, before that wagon came along, you, you were saying you wanted me to take charge. I do. Kino, you're heading back for the Blind Ravine? Yeah, Decker. I want to make certain that mask man is as much a prisoner as you say he is. <laughs> Don't fret about that. I bet him and the engine have given up already. I can just see him sitting there in the ravine right this minute, feeling sorry for themselves. But Decker was wrong. For the Lone Ranger was busy in the ravine, working desperately in the darkness. You see that tree poking out from the rim above his tonto? It's outlined against the night sky. Uh -huh. Give me your lariat. I'll try to sling a loop around the tree. Oh, yeah. If I succeed, we can haul ourselves up to the rim rock. There's only one guard left up there, Tunnel. We can deal with him easily. Ah, uh, you throw rope. <laughs> you got him. You put rope on branch. It's good and tight, Kimosabe. I'll go up first. I can brace my feet against the rock. Maybe branch break. We'll have to risk it. If it holds me, it will support you. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Bracing his feet against the face of the rock, the Lone Ranger went hand over hand up the rope till he gained the rim. Then Tonto climbed the rope to the top. <coughs> what do we do now, Kimosabe? Follow me, Tonto. The guard must be sleeping beside that campfire. Those outlaws headed for Culver City for a reason. We're going to find out what their plans are so we can go after them. Uh, that good idea. Soon be up. Kimosabe! What is it, Tonto? Silver and Scout! They still down below in Ravine. How we ride after outlaw without horses? Leave that to me. But we need Silver Scout. Leave it to me, Kimosabe. We get out of this trap, and I think I know how to get Silver and Scout out. Now follow me. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Toto escaped from the ravine by roping the branch of a tree and pulling themselves to the rim. Once at the top, they went swiftly and quietly to the campfire where the guard lay sleeping. They worked silently for a few minutes and then had a whispered word from Toto. Kimasabi, me got powder charge already in rock, like you say. Me light fuse now. Not yet, Toto. First, I wake up this guard by putting a bullet alongside his boots. What the... What's going on? Who shot me? I'll make a move for your guns. The, the mash man. What in blazes? I put a bullet into the ground to wake you up. How'd you get out of the ravine? We climbed the wall. Climbed the wall? You couldn't climb that wall. It goes straight we up. We threw a rope around the limb of a tree and pulled ourselves up. Uh, so that's it, huh? I told Decker you were a smart hombre. I told him he ought to stay. Where's he gone? He left, mister. I know that. Where is he meeting Torlock? Uh, I don't know. We haven't time to waste. Where are they meeting? What do they plan to do? Hey, easy with them shooting arms. Speak up. I tell you... Jumping coyotes, mask man. Them bullets almost hit my boots. For the last time, are you... All right, all right. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Holster them guns. Decker went to meet Torlock at Culver City. There's a wagon train heading for Buffalo Valley. Go on. That's all I know. Go on. Well, well, when the wagon train makes camp at Blue Run, Torlock figures to... He figures to... Yes? Well, the wagons will be camped in a circle. There's hills all around. Torlock plans to have a freight wagon loaded with kerosene on the slope. Come midnight, well, he, he's going to set it on fire and let it roll right into the wagon train. Oh, that'd be plenty bad, Kimasabi. Kerosene scatter all over, burn up all wagon. Well, that's his scheme. Tonto, get busy. Uh-huh, me do it. I'd take you along as a prisoner, turn you over to the law. Now, listen, masked man. The only reason I'm not doing it is because you can't keep up with Silver and Scout. We'll have to ride fast to make Blue Run in time. I'll be moose. I'll, I'll get out of this section fast. Wait a second. Well, you can't get there in time. You and the engine got out of this here ravine, but you can't get the horses out. Can't we? Just listen. All right, Tonto, light the fuse. Uh-huh, he lighted. Light the fuse? For what? While you were sleeping, we took some blasting powder and set a charge under those rocks. You blocked up the pass into the ravine. Now we're blasting it open again. While I was sleeping? Well, if that don't... Kimasabi! Is the entrance open? Uh, rock all cleared away. You listen. Here, Silver! Hey, boy! Steady, Silver. Oh, oh, Scott, oh, In the saddle, Tonto. Uh, and where we go? Head for Blue Run. We've got to save the wagon train. Get him up, Scott! Come on, Silver! Hey, Black Rainer! Horton! Rainer, I tell you! All right, Tarlock. What are you doing here? Aren't you guarding the mask, man, the Indian? Because they ain't there to guard, that's why. What? Yeah, Mr. Torlock. They got out. The masked gent figured a way out. They're heading for Blue Run. But their horses... They got their horses, mister. They climbed the ravine wall and blasted them rocks away from the pass. They got their horses and they're long gone already. Blue Run, eh? We can't possibly catch them. Not unless you ride a hurricane, you can't. Well, Decker will stop them. Yeah, mister, maybe so. But just between you and me and these here cayuses, I'd hate to be in Decker's boots right now. That masked gent means to save the wagon train. And when his mind is set on something, then, mister, look out for fireworks. We're coming tonight camp, Bill. I reckon so, Abby. Beyond is the hills. That's Blue Run. We can't buy the spring? So I've been told. Nice, clear drinking water there. Oh, we could use some. How many more days to Buffalo Valley? Not more than a week, according to the leader. Here's your camp! Bill, the leader's singing out orders. Circle your wagons! Circle the wagons! We swing around this way, Abby. Get up there, horses. We're camping for the night. Get up there. Crap them wheels and swing close. We'll be right beside the spring, Abby. Yep. Nestling right in the hills. <laughs> What's that for? I was just thinking, Bill. You recollect those men we met just outside of Culver City? The ones who said we were making a mistake joining the wagon train? Yep. They said we'd have plenty of grief getting there. Oh, well, that's what I'm laughing about. Those men were so all fire and gloomy. Well, this has been the pleasantest, easiest trip I ever took. What could happen to us now? Here they are, gents. That's a wagon train. Wagon's all swinging into a circle. Nice and snug for the night. 
and all ready for us to set on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be easier than shooting prairie hens. Got the wagon with the oil already? Ready and waiting right yonder. Got to keep with the branches and leaves, eh? Just like you said, couldn't be spotted a dozen yards off. Uh -huh. All we got to do is point her downhill, set the torch to the kerosene, and let her roll. She'll hit them wagons like a stampeding herd. Those canvas tops will be blazing before they know what hit them. Be plenty of light for us to pick them off with the rifles. Yeah, we'll see them clear against the flames. When do we start a rolling? Not yet, Jens. When? Not yet. We'll wait till the middle of the night. We'll wait till that camp is all asleep so there's no one to give the alarm. The middle of the night, eh? We'll be ready. <laughs> Right, any fire, Kimasabi. All day, in tonight. Blue Run can't be far off tunnel. Uh, wagon train not know what happened. Maybe it happened already, huh? Keep riding. And uh, we come to hills now. Look there, tunnel. Up ahead, fire. Ah, uh, Kimasabi, we too late. Outlaws send fire wagon into into camp already. Yes. No wait, tunnel. That's what it looks like at first. But we're in time. That's the campfire. See? The wagons are around it. Orlock's men haven't struck yet. We're in time. Ah, and what we do? Circle up into the hills above the spring. See if you can locate the outlaws. Ah, me do it. I'm riding into the camp. As soon as you learn anything, write it and report. Me, Sammy. Any old get him up, scout. Come Silver! <sighs> Reckon we might as well turn in, Abby. The rest of the train sound asleep. Sure is peaceful, isn't it? Uh-huh. Nothing around us but the stars and the sky. Quiet and empty space. Abby, there's nothing like the West. Nope. If Buffalo Valley's anything like this, we'll write to our friends back east and get them to come out here. They'd like it. The air is so clean and sparkling. It's the place for folks to live and grow and... <laughs> Reckon I'm talking too much. Come on, Bill. Yeah. Guess we'll sleep easy tonight. Nothing to worry about. That's where you're wrong, mister. Only days. In tarnation, who's that? Don't reach for your gun. I'm a friend. A friend, huh? How'd you get so close without making a sound? Come into the light of the campfire. Let's see your face. Well, Bill, he's wearing a mask. An outlaw. Don't touch that gun. Who are you? What in blazes do you want here? One shout from me and the whole camp will be roused up. Who I am doesn't matter. What matters is that your lives are in danger. From you, huh? From outlaws. What else but an outlaw are you? Listen to me. You can't see beyond the glow of your campfire. And up in the hills above us is a band of outlaws. They've been waiting for this wagon train. They mean to set it on fire and massacre everyone in this camp. I don't believe it. Wait, hold on, Abby. Mister, you're wearing a mask. And you come out of no place. But, well, somehow what you say has got the ring of truth in it. If there's any such scheme being... What's that? That's a signal for me. I... Who are you calling to, masked man? I don't... A ninja. Oh, you give us a me. Tunnel, what did you find? Me find bad men. They got wagon with kerosene already. They up on hill to west. How many? Ten, maybe more. This here ninja's been scouting for you, mister? Yes. Now listen to me. There isn't much time. I want you to wake up every man in this wagon train. Do it as quietly as you can. Have them get their guns and their horses. Yeah, mister. What about you and the engine? I don't know. I'll ride up into the hills and do what we can from that direction. Now here's what you men in the wagon train must do. Camp is quiet, Decker. Looks like they're all asleep, man. Yeah. Time to get started. All right, gents. Take the branches and leaves off the wagon. Hurry it up. That's the last of them, Decker. Kino, now roll that wagon so it's over the slope and point straight down to the covered wagons below. <laughs> That's it. Hold it there. Wilkins, let me have with this rope. Hold that wagon tongue back and we'll tie it down so the front wheels won't move out of the right direction. That's it. Kino. That's it. Passing down secure. Over the barrel of kerosene. All right, spill it all around. All right now, gents. Get on your horses and stand clear. As soon as I set the torch, pull out that branch. Just keep it up from rolling, Wilkins. Yeah. And everybody ride down after it. Keep your guns handy and shoot the first moving thing you see. Ready, Wilkins? Here goes the torch. Pull out that branch. She's blazing it. What in thunder? Who fired that shot? I told you not to shoot. I gave the word. It wasn't us firing them, Decker. Then who did it? We fired those shots. Come on, Tunnel. What in thunder? The masked man. Hold them. Throw them. Everybody ready. Get them up. Come on, Tunnel. Go ahead and get them. 
Get away. Heck, they're all around us. They got us right in the middle. It's meant for the wagon train. Shoot, shoot it up. Desperately, the outlaws tried to defend themselves. But they were outlined against the flames, easy targets for the men from the wagon train, led by the Lone Ranger. In a few minutes, the outlaws saw how useless it was, and the fight was over. Don't shoot them, boys. Don't shoot. We surrender. Put on your guns. We got every last one of them, Ash Man. Eddie Surratt, the only time we was getting ready to burn you out, you were hidden in the woods watching us. Harris, I think you can handle these men now, can't you? Mask Man, you just leave them to us. I reckon we'll see they get what's coming to them. Necker, there's one thing I want to ask you. You hold the cards, mister. Where's Torlock? That's what I don't savvy, mister. He went back to the blind ravine. How until did you get out of it? We climbed out. You climbed Never out? Never mind, Decker. The only thing that matters right now is Torlock. Hello, we've got a ride. Uh, we go now? Right now. Adios. Get him up, Scout. Fast man, engine, hold up. Wait, we haven't found you. Why, he's gone. He's gone. We don't even know who he is. I can tell you who he is, mister. I wish we'd never tangled with him in the first place. Otherwise, we'd never have been captured. That there's a lone ranger. Ravine, Tonto. But I don't think we'll find Torlock there. He must be gone by this time. Torlock? Him black hair. Him slippery. Like snake. Yes, Tonto. He... Him a zombie. Somebody shoot at us. Tonto, look. The top of that ridge. That man on the sorrel horse. Ah, that Torlock. Torlock of the black arrow. Never mind the bullets. Get after him. Him stop shooting. Him ride horse down the other side of ridge. After him. This is our chance. Come on, old fella. Get him up, scout. I'll settle just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>